back, we're just going to continue on with the example we were doing in the last video. In the last video, we figured out uh, what little l is, what alpha is, and now we're going to figure out what the deflection angle is for each one of these points. Right? And after we figure out what the deflection angle is, we can figure out what LC is. Um, delta up here is actually really easy to solve. Delta, or little delta, is equal to alpha over 2. And alpha is this column right here. So everything in, in the alpha column, we simply divide by 2. We divide 5 degrees, 13 minutes, 40.1 seconds by 2. And you should get something like 2 degrees, 36 minutes, and um, 50, 50 minutes, right? You take uh, the next station, which is 27 uh, plus 0, 0. You take its alpha and you divide that by 2. You should get 5 degrees, 36 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. You go to the next station, 28 plus 0, 0. You divide its alpha by 2, and you should get 8 degrees, 36 minutes, 50 seconds. And you keep doing this for all the stations or all the stakes that you want to put out, put out on the field. And you come to station 35 plus 0, 0, and you should get 29 degrees, 36, sec or 36 minutes, 50 seconds seconds, right? And then finally, the last station, uh, 30 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Now, maybe you might have already noticed this. This is something I find pretty cool. Um, alpha, alpha is your um, angle from, from here to any point from the origin to the point on a curve that you're on, on the curve that you're studying, right? Notice here that alpha increases by 6 degrees. So you have 5 degrees here, or 5 degrees, 13 minutes, 40.1 seconds. You add to that 6 degrees, you get 11. You add 6 to 11, you get 17, and so on and so forth. And here, you'll actually notice that this increases by 3 degrees, or half of the degrees um, that alpha is increasing by. Right, so you get two, and you add to that three, you get five, plus three is eight, and so on and so forth. I don't know, I found that pretty cool. Um, so we figured out what delta is, or our deflection angle, and our deflection angle, remember, is the angle from the tangent line to the line we draw from BC uh, to all of these all of these points, right? It gives us the angle that we need to draw a chord line from BC to a point on a curve, right? So, LC, LC, again, we have a formula. LC is equal to 2 times the radius of the curve times the sine of alpha divided by 2. Now, alpha divided by 2 is actually the deflection angle, right? So, if I said, okay, we're here at station 26 plus 0, 0, you can say LC is equal to 2 times the radius, and the radius is kind of long, so I don't want to write it down, times sine of the deflection angle, right? Alpha over 2. And if we do that for a station 26 plus 0, 0, my LC is 87.100 feet, right? So, if this was the first, if this was station 26 plus 0, 0, the straight distance from BC to that point would be 87.1 feet. And its deflection angle would be 2 degrees, 36 minutes, 50 seconds. If we went to this next station, 2700, or tw I'm sorry, 27 plus 0, 0, and we solved for LC here, 2 times R times sine of 5 degrees, 36 minutes, 50 seconds, we should get 186.831 feet, right? And if we did it for station 28 plus 0, 0, we get 286.050 
so on and so forth. We get 943.763, that's for station 35 plus 00, zero. and then finally we get 954.93 uh, and this is your long chord from BC to EC right so I think actually that's it so we figured out what Delta is for each one of these stations along this curve and we also figured out what the long chord is for each one of those chords okay